Welcome to the best ever cooking show. Making food from my kitchen because, well, every restaurant in the world is closed down right now. So if I'm gonna review a food, it turns out I'm gonna have to cook it myself. But I promise to be unbiased in my reviewing. Maybe. I'm here in my kitchen all alone with uh, a couple cameras, a couple tripods here. Here's my little setup I got here and a tripod there. Right now, much of the world is home and you need something to do. So you're watching this video, but also you could cook food for people. And that's what this video is about. Actually, not really. It's just about you kind of see me struggle through cooking a certain food. God damn these eggs. I can't use that. I'm not sure the best way to do this. You'll see which one soon. It's probably in the title. Anyways, I got to get a drink. Oh, that? Last time we made a video with adult beverages, it was demonetized. So this series will be called Sober Cooking with Sunny. Let's get sober. Oh, look at this. It's a fruit juice. Definitely no alcohol in there. Glug, 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 Cheers. You know, drinking, it can make the quarantine go by a lot faster, and so can eating your emotions. And that's why today, I'm teaching you how to make deviled eggs. What does it take to make deviled eggs? Eggs, mayonnaise, mustard, if you're a basic bitch. I'm gonna show you how to make deviled eggs so good, all the footwear will be blowing off the people who try them. The first thing you're gonna need, right here, eggs. You can get, you can get, I think I'm drunk. You can get one dozen or they just give you 10 in Asia. The eggs, you're gonna wanna go ahead and boil those until they're hard boiled. After that, you go into my fridge, where I think, what is in here? It's just a little snack for daddy. What are we doing here? Get the eggs. These eggs have already been hard boiled and shelled. The first thing we wanna do here is extract the yolk from the egg. Cutting board, egg, plate. We're gonna take the egg and actually cut it in half. And then you kinda poop out the yolk. Boom, keep your whites. Ooh, that sounded racial. Keep the not yellow part on a plate. You're gonna do that about uh, 12 more times. You have to keep in mind, guys, you might look at your eggs and think, wow, these eggs look fucking terrible compared to Google, but you also look terrible compared to like Instagram or something, right? Why are you gonna compare yourself to people on Instagram? I don't know. They're not gonna look like they look on uh, googleimages.com when you looked up deviled eggs. Look at these Google pictures, that's not realistic. These are unachievable deviled egg standards. That's not fair. Once you have all your egg whites out, they're gonna look kind of sad and lonely and a little messed up, like an egg that's been battered. But do not despair, that's only part of the recipe. Here, the future lies in these yolks. The first thing you're gonna need is mayonnaise. You can start with a little and then put a lot later, but you can't start with a lot and then take it out. I think I put too much mayo. <laughs> We're gonna give that a mix. You can be nice and generous. Now from here, I like to give it a little bit of a taste. Mm -hmm. Good, already we're getting close to something. The thing is, a deviled egg, it's the perfect food to bring to a party because it seems like you really got your SHIT together in life. You're gonna have a million dollars in debt, just failed out of your senior year in college, but if you bring deviled eggs to a party, people are gonna be like, man, this guy really has it going on, he has his stuff together. All right, that's looking pretty smooth. From here, there's gonna be a lot more mixing, but I wanna get more ingredients in here. It's all about the ingredients. This is American Garden U.S. mustard born in the USA. You wanna shake up your mustard and then just give it just a little bit in there. That's good. Mustard in there, that's gonna make it a little bit more like uh, mustardy. Usually, my style of deviled eggs, it's all about texture and kick. The minimum is some creamy mayo, but after that, I want people to feel a kick on the back end. Usually, I would use horseradish, but I couldn't find any because I live in Vietnam. Do you know what's the same as horseradish? Wasabi. 90% of wasabi you're gonna find in the store isn't made from the wasabi plant at all. It's actually made from horseradish and dyed green with food coloring. There we go, a little bit of wasabi. I'm gonna put this to the side. We're gonna mix that up soon. Next, onion. Now you don't need that much onion. What I like to do is just cut it into half. 
Here's a fun little trick. I can do this on the onion. I wanna get this onion into really tiny minced little pieces. I'm gonna slice it vertically first. This is gonna make sense real soon. I'm probably not holding it the smartest way. By the way, guys, don't ever actually do what I do. Now when I slice it, it's already gonna be minced. This is good for like a hot dog. We need to really mince the S-H-I-T out of this. The goal here is to get the onion real, real tiny. Cause this is gonna go into each of those eggs. There's gonna be a bit of onion flavor, not that much, but it's gonna add a little bit of crunch. Toss those onions in there and toss these onions in there. That's looking fantastic. Why does that camera keep moving? I need to straighten out that tripod. Oh no, I stopped. <laughs> Next, something you've probably never seen in a deviled egg before, an effing pickle. It's in French. M. de Tourine La Griffy de Savus. So I'm gonna taste both these pickles real quick. And this one? And more sweet. We want the sweet one. Some people put vinegar in their deviled eggs. What I do, I put a little bit of pickle for texture and a little bit of pickle juice, which also has vinegar in it. Mm -hmm. You definitely wanna use a baby pickle because it's gonna have more texture. It has more edges and it's gonna give a little bit more crunch with every bite. Pickles are complete, look at that. Let's go ahead and mix it up. You should cook and then drink. I'm so out of breath. Hold on, this will refresh me. We want all that egg yolk to be nice and creamy, to be a little crunchy with the onion and the pickle. Oh, I forgot two things. Is this pepper? <coughs> That's pepper. Get some pepper, whatever you find that someone else obviously bought because you don't recognize it. A little bit of salt. And give it a taste. Boom, it's so good. You can taste a little wasabi on the back end, but I want people to taste it in their nose. It shouldn't hurt, but, but I want them to feel it everywhere. It's a full body experience. And you guys, you gotta get the wasabi that makes this sound. You know you got the right one. There we go, mix that in. So now we have a bunch of hollow, empty, sad ass looking egg whites, and we've got some good ass, delicious, yellow, yolky sauce that we've made. And we just need to find a way to put that into that. Now the broke way to do that is to get a spoon and kind of spoon it into each one. But that doesn't look beautiful. What I'm gonna do, they have these artisanal, kind of like a frosting bag. You've seen frosting bags on cooking shows, right? Well, I don't have one of those, but maybe I have like a grocery bag. What's in here? Ah. Good, this will work. You can just grab it with your fist, that's what I do. Look at that. There we go. Flip it inside out. Huh? You're gonna cut just a little thing off the nipple. No, I shouldn't call it that. Just a little bit off the tip. You're gonna squeeze all this down, push it out the end, and fill up each egg white. And then at the very end, when you're out of egg whites, you just put it in your mouth. Boom. We're almost done, one more drink. A little bit of juice. No, 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 no. To health and longevity. The next thing we're gonna do is make it look real pretty. This is ground paprika. We're gonna put just a little bit of a hit of this. It's gonna give a little bit of a flavor. Mainly what it does is it makes it look cool. Oh, starting to look like a party now. Very last step right here, <laughs> aside from eating it, is putting on some sliced black olives. Someone kindly already sliced up these olives for me. What you can do is just use your unwashed fingers, put them right in the jar, and then you just slam it right into your little yolky yolk sauce or whatever you wanna call it there. Now look at these, they're all taking on this uniform shape, and these are looking so handsome. They are ready for the egg prom. Boom, that's it. I call it eight thing deviled eggs. Next time you go to a party, which maybe in six or eight, 12 months, make some deviled eggs. In the meantime, do what I do. Have a fruit juice, make a ton of food as if you're having people over and eat it by yourself. And then cry. That's been the best ever. Oh shit, hold on, I didn't even eat it. Okay, well, here I go, I'm picking it up. Here's a nice slow motion shot of me picking up. Oh, it smells uh, normal. It's not about the smell, really. It's about the taste. Let's give it a try. Mmm, really yummy. <laughs> I really like the wasabi, guys. You won't believe it. Like, it has that horseradish feel up in the back of your nose. Tingly sourness from the vinegar and the pickle juice. And then a little bit of texture in there, too. I could have one more. I've been pretty good today. Huh? Guys, that has been Deviled Eggs in Sober Cooking with Sunny, me on the best ever cooking show. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments down below, what food should I cook next while in quarantine? You take care. I love you. Korean heart and episode end. Good job, me, me, me alone.
Hey guys, how's it going with that quarantine? More like quarantine, am I right? Mm. If you're anything like me, you're probably stuffing yourself twice a day. Listen, we're gonna get through this. I'm not talking about the apocalypse. I don't know anything about that. I'm talking about this constant stomach stretching that we keep doing. But if we move forward, if we persevere, at the end of the day, we can call ourselves food coma survivors. Buy the shirt. And we're donating 25% of the profits from this campaign to Feed America's COVID-19 response fund. They are assisting food banks and helping people across America who are in need. So it's a cool shirt. It's a great cause. Thank you guys for the support. I'm gonna go drink in bed. I swear to God that camera's moving. <laughs>